Joe Biden, wow, what a fucking natural born loser and the head patriarch of a crime family. Hashtag Biden crime family. This dude lost his fucking mind. This dude's a fucking goddamn imbecile. So he wants to put millions of, what, immigrants on the path to citizenship? Or wait, citizens. He wants to put millions of citizens who are already citizens on the path to citizenship. For those of you who didn't catch the sound bites, who haven't heard the news media, you haven't heard Joe fucking blabbering, uh, ignorant, <laughs> blithering, ignoramus, blithering, fucking idiotic, moronic, imbecilious Joe Biden, stammering and jibber jabbering, talking about how citizens need to be put on the path to citizenship. He doesn't even make any fucking sense. He's a nonsensical, batshit crazy son of a bitch who has been part of this Biden crime family. And the dude is a schlub. And this is the best that the Dem socialists have. This is the best. This is the best that the Dem socialists have. You know they're clamoring. You know they're scrambling. You know that they're frenetic and and frantic. And they're panicking. And they have no idea what to do. What to do? Joe Biden is out of his mind. How could we have done this to ourselves? How could we have miscalculated and made so many mismoves? Well, that's what you do. That's what you're na- that's the nature of the beast. That's what you continue to do. When you lie to yourselves, you lie to the American people. You're unrealistic. Your shit is unsubstantiated. You continue to create apocryphal fucking stupid ass lies and stories one after another. You're in denial of fucking reality. The more you deny reality, the more you're untruthful, the more you're you're off kilter and off base and you just fucking flat out lie and your stories are patently false and you day in, day out seek to attack Donald Trump, Donald Trump with your Trump derangement syndrome. That's the output. That's the outcome. That's what you've come up with. That's the best you have. That's what you have created is yourselves. You've created a monster. It's called the Dem Socialist fucking party. And that's what you are. And that's what Joe Biden is. A bunch of stupid ass fucking Marxists. A bunch of fucking buffoons. And it all is just nothing but a bunch of fucking buffoonery. It's, it's all buffoonery tantamount to buffoonery and Joe Biden's a fucking buffoon and he can't win. He just can't win. He's a fucking loser by nature. He is a natural born fucking loser. What's up with Hunter Biden and his drug life? What's up with Joe Biden? I'm not convinced that Joe Biden doesn't have a history of drug usage and whatever drugs his son has been doing, I I don't put it past him, man. I've met so many people in the military and government who abuse drugs and their friends can help them pass urine analyses, the UA tests and all this shit. I'm I'm unconvinced that Joe Biden is drug-free or has been drug-free. I'm not not fucking convinced. I am unconvinced. Joe Biden is a piece of fucking trash. He has no class. He has no scruples. He's unscrupulous. He's unfucking ruly. He's dastardly. He's he's a liar. He's 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 garbage. He's fucking trash. And of all the so-called brain power, of all the so-called brain power on the left, of all the Ivy League schools, of all the top schools, of all the schools in the fucking world, the best that the socialists, the Marxists. The communists, the leftists, the best they could fucking come up with is Joe Biden. Give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break. That's the best they could come up with. Please. And then, and then to top it all off, to top it all fucking off, man. Oh, yeah. What happened in the Ukraine? 
What happened with the slush fund? What happened with the fucking fake bullshit ass whistleblower? And Mark Zay, this fucking piece of shit, so called attorney, and his motherfucking piece of shit, dick sucking, faggot ass fucking client. Huh? What happened to his motherfucking client, the so called whistleblower, and, and collusion, and Russia Gate, and the hoax, and all this shit, and Donald Trump, and the telephone fucking call, and all this shit? Whatever happened to these fucking jakes? Yeah, they're all hiding out. They're all hiding out, hiding behind the FBI. Yeah, they have to be protected because of their lies that they've told the American people in the world. Because they have to be, they have to be protected now as a result of all their fucking lies and deception. And not only their lies and deceptions, plural, not only that, not only that, but the death threats that they get as a result. Yeah, the death threats that they get as a result of fucking with the American people and our time and our resources and our monies, taxpayer dollars, and our fucking energy that we had to exert. That's right, to deal with these fifth columnists, these subversives who sought to undermine the United States. Fucking Mark Zay, piece of shit. Fucking piece of shit. Sought to overthrow Donald Trump leading up to the coronavirus outbreak. Look how much time they took out of America, away from America, and then enters these governors and they lock it down or try to and tell people to stay home. These people, these motherfucking un Americans, this is what they do. One thing after another, one thing after another. All trying to overthrow, all seeking to overthrow the United States and Donald Trump, the U.S., the Republic, every motherfucking tick of the clock. Where's the accountability? Where is it? Oh, wait, hold on. John Durham, I believe he has convened a jury, and I believe that there are indictments that are currently sealed Yeah, I believe they've already indicted some motherfuckers. Yeah, deep state. (laughs) They thought that they were uh, immune from prosecution. James Comey thought he got off scot-free. He thought when the Justice Department, at least Obama's Justice Department, the holdover players from the, the Obama admin era times, yeah, he thought that was the last, that was the last step in him getting off scot-free a few months ago, just before the coronavirus outbreak. Yeah, he thought it was all good. It was all gravy. He thought he was uh, out the door and the, and the door wasn't going to come back, swing back and hit him in his ass. Yeah, James Comey thought he was good for retirement. Andrew McCabe, yeah, Lisa Page, Peter Strzok, they thought they were all fucking good. Yeah, in steps John Durham. Indictments! 